if we have the expression radical within the radical so radical within the radical that is 48 plus radical 49 first i'm going to solve this radical so 72 times give you 49 but i'm going to write in form of 7 power 2 So now I'm going to cancel out this power with radical or either you can write 2 that we are not easily right. Now our next, I'm going to factorize this. I'm going to write this 48 in this form. 4, 12, 20 give you 48 and this 7 stays the same. two times and this vertical three into four give me twelve. This I'm going to decompose it into three plus four. Now we get the identical situation. I'm going to apply x is equals to vertical three. So, x squared is equal to 3. y is equal to radical 4. So, y squared is equal to 4. Now, I'm going to plug in this least value in the placement of our radicals. Here we have and this is radical 3 that is equal to x this is radical 4 this is equal to y and 3 is equal to x square and y square 4 is equal to y square now this is our formula that is equals to x plus y bracket square now if i'm going to open it with this you can select this with the radical x plus y now our x and y value that is radical 3 plus radical 4 so I'm going to solve this plus 2. This is our solution, but we can simplify it further. This radical 3 is equals to 1.73, and as I add up the 2, so it is equal to 3.73. Here we have the expression radical within the radical. Radical 15 plus radical 200. I'm going to solve this. There we go. 15 plus 4. 50 times give you 200. I'm going to solve this. We are applying this formula. Add 2 and this one 50. Now I'm going to write like this and 10 into 5 give me 50. Now we get the identical situation x is equals to 
will equal to 10 and x squared is equal to 10. y is equal to radical 5 and y squared is equal to 5. Now I'm going to plug in the values and with the replacement of 10, I'm going to write x squared in the placement of 5, I'm going to write y square. This is R2. This can be write good like this. So now I'm going to plug in the radical 10 value that is x and radical 5 that is y. Now this our formula x plus y power two. This will cancel out with this x plus y. Now I'm going to plug in the x and y value. So our x value is radical ten. Our value is five. Now I'm going to write this then in this way five two times. Now I'm going to take out radical five as a common. This is our final equation.